hello welcome back welcome back to another exciting inspirational thursday god bless each of you my brothers and sisters in christ it is so good to be in the presence of our lord and savior jesus christ truly this is the day that no one else has made but jehovah god and we're going to rejoice and we're going to be glad in it we're going to rejoice we're going to rejoice we're going to rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus. This is one of my favorite scriptures. Oh God, I give you praise this, this evening. I give you praise and I give you all the glory and all the honor. It's a privilege to be before you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to share the gospel, to learn more of our heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we thank you. We honor you for who you are. We welcome your presence, Holy Spirit. We ask that you will lead and guide this message in the direction you want it to go, God. I ask that you will teach and reach millions, trillions, and billions of believers. Reach the lost, set the captives free. Whom the Son is set free, we are all free indeed. I thank you and I praise you, Father, that as your word goes forth, Today, you will not return void it back unto you, but it will accomplish everything it's set for it out to do. We be careful to give you all the glory, honor, and praise, and we confess before you that we are sinners saved by your grace and your mercy, and we ask that you will forgive us of all of those sinful things that we've said, thought, and have done. And Father, we ask that you will cleanse us from all unrighteousness and renew a righteous, steadfast spirit within us, Jehovah God, and a pure, clean heart, that your perfect will be done. We seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. It is in Jesus' name. We love you, Lord, and we forever give you praise. Hallelujah. Amen. To God be the glory on high, on high, on high. Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. That is who he is. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give God praise forever and ever and ever. And I could go on and on and on. The word of God says for us to worship our heavenly father in spirit and in truth. And that is the only way that we can truly worship our heavenly father is in spirit and in truth. And I just give God praise. I am so grateful. I could never, and I'm sure you could never repay God for all what he have done in our lives and the things that is yet to come in the name of Jesus. In today's message, hallelujah, we are going to talk about how it is in the pressing that our Heavenly Father brings us into a place where he has purpose and predestined us to be. Turn with me to the book of of Matthew chapter 21 and I am reading from the King James study Bible and let me correct that we are studying from Isaiah 64 and 8 I had some more scriptures on my notes so please excuse me that's the book of Isaiah chapter 64 verse 8 and it says but now O Lord Thou art our Father. We are the clay, and thou art our, and thou our power, and we are the work of thy hand. Let me repeat that. But now, O Lord, thou art our Father. We are the clay, and thou our potter, and we all are the work of die hand in this scripture the lord is talking about how he is the potter and we are the clay we have been made in the likeness and in the image of our lord and savior jesus christ and in order for us to be all that god has called us to be it is in the shaping it is in the breaking it is in the pressing as God is making us and as he's molding us into all that we want. He wants us to be for his glory, honor, and praise. And it's through testing trials. It's through spiritual warfare. It's through 
things that we repeatedly face over and over and over again until our breakthrough comes our lord and savior jesus christ steps in and gives us a breakthrough and he breaks us for it out of that situation and that sometimes don't feel the best <laughs> sometimes it hurts sometimes we don't understand sometimes it seems as though we're not hearing from the lord when we know that he is near and that he is with us because he promised never to leave us nor to forsaken us sometimes we be in a place to where we just do not understand but my brother and sister in christ i'm here to encourage you continue to push continue to fast continue to pray continue to worship god in spirit and in truth the word of god says that in all things give thanks unto the lord isn't that simple to say but how hard it is to do without the lord how hard it is to do without the holy spirit the lord left the comforter here to comfort us to lead us and guide us in all truth if we are not spending the time and walking in obedience, standing with the shield of faith, we will not, we will not be and get all the things that God have in store for us. The only way that we can get there is spending that time sitting at the feet of the Savior of the world. The Savior that spoke and there was, that have created the entire universe glory to god the one who turned water into wine the one that fed the multitude with two fish and five loaves of bread the one that shut the mouth the mouth of the lion in the lion's den the one who slayed the giant with the one stone through david hallelujah it is our responsibility as christians to get in the word of god feed off of the word of god allow the word to become life and living in our lives because our heavenly father is he is living waters he is the living water and we have to continue to drink from the well of salvation we got to continue to drink from it drink from it drink from it and we'll never thirst no more that is the only way that we can be all that god has called us to be god is not done with me or you yet he has so much he wants to do in our lives as kingdom advances under earth realm we cannot walk out our christian journey prematurely we must get closer to the fire and in the pressing and in the shaping and in the breaking all that is through drawing closer to god getting his word standing on his word and believing what his word says and when those tests and trials come we may not understand we may not immediately line up or respond the way that we should immediately but i guarantee you the more you call on the name of the lord the more you give your time to him in fasting and prayer the more you feed off of the word the more you help other people you pray for more people for other people the more you just continue to give to the kingdom of heaven god will step in and bring you your breakthrough because he is the god of the breakthrough and he is a deliverer sometimes the enemy will come and say oh you're not free oh yes i am because the word of god says whom the son is set free i'm free indeed and this is for someone that may be struggling with going back and forth you done fast you done prayed you done did everything and you're still doing it and you're still facing that devil and you have to tell him i am free and whom the son is set free i'm free indeed in the name of jesus and you have to push you have to fight you have to stand 
and this will come to pass. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, I pray that this message has taken root in your spirit. I pray that this message will give you a, a, a leap of fate, that it will give you a zeal like never before, an excitement to bring you into a place of knowing, my God, you have created me in your likeness and your image. I am the clean, you're the potter. And as you're making me and molding me into all that you want me to be, you are getting the glory, you are getting the honor, and you are getting the praise. And I forever give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Let that be your testimony. Let that be your prayer today in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you and I praise you for your sons and your daughters, which they are my sisters and brothers in Christ. I pray, God, that this word will take root and bring forth so much fruit that their lives will never be the same. Remind your daughters and your son that it's in the making, it's in the pressing, it's in the breaking, it is in the shaping. Where true victory and breakthrough will be their portion. And it's through the pressing. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would stir up, stir up, stir up the gifts in your sons and your daughters. That they will continue to fight the good fight of faith and to be strong in you and the power of your might. In Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you and I praise you. Hallelujah. God bless each of you. I pray that this message was an encouragement. I pray that... Everything is well with you and your household. If you have any prayer requests, please drop them down in the comment box down below and I will cover them in prayer. I am so excited about what God is doing in your life, the testimonies that's, that are going to come in the mighty name of Jesus. I will be seeing you guys in the next Inspirational Thursday. You pray for me as I'm praying for you. I love you. God bless you and have an amazing day in Jesus' name.